Rated M for Mature. Sound propagation in SWAT actually use piggyback on the AI pathfinding system. So in the uh, editor, the designers could place path nodes that the characters would maneuver around, kind of model the way sound maneuvers around the environment. If you're on one side of the wall and there's a sound on the other side, you're not going to hear it because AIs can't go through the wall. But if you're like close to the door, you will probably hear it because the, the sound could go around the door. I provided the system for the designers to use. So a lot of it was just making sure that they knew the, the rules for how to place the path nodes and how to link things up and, and debug when you can hear a sound versus when you cannot hear a sound. We all felt that it was pretty important to get the system in because um, our sound designer on SWAT, Eric Roche, is really into creating atmosphere. It helps a lot, especially when you walk around and you can hear the computer monitors buzzing and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. For Red Library, actually, we, for the main section with all the separators, we we decided not to do sound propagation in, in that zone. So it's all based on like your exact distance. We figured, you know, the separators are so low that sound waves could go around them fairly easily. So that like first level and the like the deck above the second level is all one big sound zone. We use that technique mainly places that were like large open areas. Go, go, go! Time to move! <laughs> 